for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.isgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answers discussion visit www.getmec.com now let us see what is a determinant what is the significant or significance or concept behind determinant i'll explain you little while i mean after a while before that what is a determinant say suppose a 2 by 2 matrix is there a b c d determinant is usually defined only for square matrices please remember that determinant is only defined for square matrices why the reason would be explained later when i tell the significance okay this is defined only for square matrices now i have a small matrix a b c d here which whose size is 2 by 2 now the determinant of this matrix is defined as a into d a into d minus b into c into b so that is defined as a into d minus b into c so <coughs> b into c so a matrix of 2 by 2 size a b c d the determinant of which is defined as so okay determinant i'll write it as determinant of so determinant of a b c d is equal to a into d minus b into c okay so now the determinant is usually represented as a b c d represented like this this is usually called determinant suppose say this matrix i am calling it as a also it can be represented as det a we read it as det a or we can even write it as det a so det a or this det a with symbols or this way all three represents the determinant of the same matrix is equal to a into b d minus b into c a d minus b c one small example here 2 1 3 9 what is the determinant of this matrix det 2 1 3 9 this is 9 into 2 or 2 into 9 minus 3 into 1 so that will be 18 minus 3 that is 15 similarly another matrix 1 2 2 4 what is the determinant of this matrix debt 1 2 2 4 is equal to 1 into 4 minus 2 into 2 this is nothing but 4 minus 4 it is equal to 0 okay one more matrix i will give you one two three <coughs> four what is the determinant of this matrix one two three four debt is equal to one into four minus two into three this is equal to four minus six this is minus two okay so here if you see we have three different matrices where here the determinant came to be 15 here the determinant came to be minus 2 but here the determinant came to be 0 in such cases such matrix are called singular matrix a singular matrix where singular matrix so what is a singular matrix a singular matrix is the one whose determinant is 0 if it is non-zero those matrix are called non-singular matrix non-singular matrix okay before <coughs> before going for finding how we have to find the determinant of 3 by 3 or higher order matrices let me explain you here the concept of the determinant clearly so now we will find determinant of matrices using cofactors so how to find determinant of any matrix okay det a 
say suppose matrix is a can be expanded as sum of product of elements of any row or column pro sum of product of elements of any row or any column with with their corresponding cofactors if you can see here determinant of a or any matrix is can be expressed as sum of the product of element with its corresponding cofactor for example for to be i mean to be simple one example we will take say suppose a is equal to 1 0 2 minus 1 3 4 rather i would not use a minus 2 3 4 3 3 4 again say suppose this is a matrix okay now what is determinant of a is how to expand a as per this one it is sum of products of the elements to its corresponding cofactors using any row or any column in this case let us say i am using row one here i will let us use row one for simple understanding okay so that a can be expressed as row one what is the first element one so one into its cofactor plus 0 the second element 0 into its cofactor 0 into cofactor of 0 again 1 into cofactor of 1 here plus 2 into the corresponding cofactor cofactor of 2 if you see how it has to be formed is you can use any row in this case i have used row 1 I can use column 1 also. I can also write any, I can use any row or any column. I can also write 1 into cofactor of 1 plus 2 into cofactor of 2 plus 3 into cofactor of 3. Similarly, here I have used column 1. This is using row 1. This is using column 1. Similarly, I can use row 2 or row 3 or column 2 or column 3. In this case, let us find what is determinant A and let us find whether if it is true or not. Okay. Now, let us find the cofactor of 1 here. cofactor of 1 at position 1 1 what is its cofactor you hide the corresponding row the corresponding row and column the remaining is that of 3 4 3 4 determinant of sorry <coughs> this is cofactor so cofactor is nothing but minus 1 power i plus j it is 1 1 position so 1 plus 1 into the corresponding cofactor is hide the first column and first row the remaining is 3 4 3 4 so debt of 3 4 3 4 okay now 3 into 4 minus 3 into 4 it is nothing but 0 so minus 1 power 2 it is plus 1 into 0 is nothing but 0 similarly cofactor of first row i am finding 0 is equal to minus 1 power position is 1 2 into determinant of you find that row and this column 2 4 3 4 this is equal to minus 1 power 3 it is minus 1 into 2 into 4 minus 3 into 4 8 minus 12 minus 4 into minus 1 this is plus 4 I am writing the values directly because our concentration is on how we are finding the cofactor okay so next cofactor of 2 
is equal to minus 1 power what is the position 1 3 so 1 plus 3 into the corresponding minor hide these two the remaining is 2 3 3 3 determinant of 2 3 3 3 so it will be minus 1 power 1 plus 3 is 4 means it is plus 1 into 2 into 3 minus 3 into 3 6 minus 9 it is minus 3 okay now what is the determinant as per the definition 1 into its corresponding cofactor 1 into 0 plus 0 into its corresponding cofactor I am using row 1 here 0 into corresponding cofactor is 4 plus 2 into corresponding cofactor is 3 minus 3 2 into minus 3 so what is the total 1 into 0 is 0 plus 0 into 0 is 0 into 4 is 0 plus 2 into minus 3 is minus 6 the determinant is minus 6 okay let us do one thing let us find very quickly about row 2 if both come same or not okay we will find it very quickly I will write it directly here do not get confused the first element is 2 into cofactor of 2 hide this column and this row what is remaining is 0 to 3 4 what is the determinant 0 into 4 minus 3 into 2 correct right 0 into 4 minus 3 into 2 this is 0 minus 6 into minus 1 power what is the position 2 1 plus next 3 into minus 1 power what is the position 2 2 2 plus 2 into what is the corresponding uh, uh, sub matrix this one and this one you have to hide 1 2 3 4 determinant 1 into 4 minus 3 into 2 4 minus 6 it is minus 2 plus the corresponding element 4 into third element minus 1 power position 2 1 2 2 2 3 so 2 plus 3 into the corresponding determinant you hide this because 4 you hide this row and this column remaining is 1 0 3 3 determinant is 1 into 3 3 minus 3 into 0 0 so determinant is 3 what is it is equal to 2 into minus 1 power 3 2 plus 1 is 3 so minus 1 minus 2 into minus 6 this is plus 12 plus 3 into this is minus 1 power 2 plus 2 this is plus 1 3 into minus 2 minus 6 plus 4 into minus 1 power 3 plus 2 5 means minus 1 4 into minus 1 minus 4 into 3 minus 12 it is 12 minus 12 the remaining is minus 6 if you can observe it both are same so you can use any row or any column you have to follow the same procedure the determinant can be found the same thing as I have already told as a simple uh, rule that for a matrix for a 2 by 2 matrix of A, B, C, D the determinant is defined as A, D minus B, C I have told you already how it has come can we verify from this let us verify it so i can use any row or any column let me use uh, first row only or it's up to us let me use second row for a change now c into what is the determinant say suppose this is a okay i'll write it as debt a is equal to what is the first one i am using second row be aware second row so first thing is c into minus 1 power what is position of c this is 2 1 correct right second row first column so 2 plus 1 into you hide the corresponding row and the column what is remaining b determinant of b is nothing but b plus u is d so d into what is the position of it 
minus 1 power i plus j position is 2 2 so minus 1 power 2 plus 2 into hide the corresponding column and the row remaining is a it, it is c into minus 1 power 2 plus 1 is minus 1 whole cube is nothing but minus 1 so minus 1 into b this is minus bc minus 1 bc this is d minus 1 power 2 plus 2 is minus 1 power 4 is nothing but plus 1 so 1 into d into a this is nothing but plus ad i hope it is the same ad minus bc this is how actually the formula has come for example let us take a fourth order matrix 4 by 4 matrix okay where uh, i'll write some example 1 2 3, 4, 2, <coughs> 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 8. Say, suppose this is the fourth order matrix. He has asked you to find a determinant. Okay. I am just explaining how to find determinant to get the procedure only here. So, how it can be expanded? Say, suppose this is A. How determinant of A can be found? If you can observe here, sh let us use any row. For example, say I will use 2, second row. Okay, how it has to be found is 2 into the cofactor of 2 is nothing but minus 1 power. What is cofactor of 2? Uh, position of 2, 2, 1. So this is 2 plus 1 into what is the minor there? Hide this column and this row. 2, 3. It will be determinant of 2, 3, 4. The remaining since you are hiding from a 4 by 4 matrix one row and one column the remaining would be 3 by 3 2 3 4 9 3 4 1 2 8 plus second element use 5 so 5 into minus 1 power its position is 2 2 okay I will write it here its position is 2 2 so 2 plus 2 into the corresponding uh, sub matrix you hide this row and this column this is 1 3 4 8 3 4 0 2 8 1 3 4 8 3 4 0 3 8 plus next element is 6 6 into position is 2 3 minus 1 power 2 plus 3 into the corresponding row and column you hide this row and this column so the remaining is 1 2 4 2 6 2 5 7 sorry not 2 5 7 2 5 7 shall be hidden One two four eight nine four zero one eight eight nine four zero one eight plus last element is seven so seven into position is two four minus one power two plus four into determinant of last column and last column and second row so one two three eight nine three zero one two one two three eight nine 3 0 1 2 now you have to find individual this matrix again you have to find a determinant and find determinant of this find determinant of this and this and substitute in this values you will get determinant of a this is what is the procedure for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.ilsgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion visit www.getnet.com